Welcome back to Cocktails with Queens. Ooh, y'all, tonight we got something a little special for y'all. We have an amazing actor. His name is Dio O'Kinney, and we made sure we got that name right. Um, he is the star of Hypnotic, a new mind-bending action thriller from visionary director Robert Rodriguez, opening in theaters nationwide this Friday, May 12th. Let's check him out. What's up? You know, you could have called Diana, sent a text, you know, one of those little Morse code thingies. I do have radio, you know. Showing up on the house is just rude. Ah, uh, homemade Mountain Dew. My own brew, all organic. Uh, no thanks. All right, huh? All right, fine. What for me? Ooh. Please <laughs> welcome to Cocktails with Queens, Dio O'Kenny. How you doing, hey, my brother? Hey. Doing good, doing good. How you ladies doing? How you queens doing? Excellent, Very excellent. Fine. Now let's give um, all of our fans a little bit of your history. In mm -hmm. 2010, you took a leap of faith to move to Los Angeles from Nigeria, okay, to pursue an acting career, and you gave yourself six to seven years to accomplish your dream. Tell us a little bit about your journey. Wow, people have been doing some research, but yeah, you know, honestly, <laughs> uh, this the story is, is is a lot longer than that. You know, my folks, my father's Nigerian, my mother's Kenyan. They were fortunate enough to have come to America in the 70s. I'll give you all the, the abridged version, but they came in the 70s. They met in America and then went back to Nigeria and had myself and, and my siblings. The years after that, you know, when, you know, when it was time for me to, you know, pursue education, you know, I wanted to come to America. And so I came really earlier, like in 2003, and then I finished college. And then I had the chance to go back in 2010 with a degree. But, um, you know, acting has always been my love. You know, I, I started in the theater and, in my mind, I was I had the idea of like trying to move out to LA and give it like three years to try to see if something could happen. But you know, God had, had other plans. So in, in 2011, I found myself in the set of the Hunger Games, and that story in its own is another incredible story. But um, yeah, far away from home, but you know, you gotta step out of your comfort zone for dreams to come true. I know that's right. And you know, yeah. speaking of Hunger Games, Dio, how did mm -hmm. booking a role in Hunger Games change your life? And and basically, just tell us the story because you were just about to turn up on us, and then we just layered into that story. So, what's something yeah. you know? How did it change your life? And what's probably the biggest thing that you took from doing that movie? Right. Um. Man, there's so many things that I took. I mean, that movie is littered with legends. You know, from Lenny man. Kravitz to you know Jennifer Lawrence and and Woody Harrelson and Elizabeth mm -hmm. you know, Banks. I mean, it's such a stacked cast. You know, you know. I mean, Mr. Sutherland himself. You know. He should be a knight. I should call him Sir Sutherland, you know. So being on that set was was the best acting school that anybody could ever go to. You know, I'm like I said, I, I grew up on on stage. I'm a theater kid, but I didn't go to, you know, to to school formally for acting. So being on that set with a whole bunch of young people uh, was amazing. You know what I mean? And and Gary Ross, you know, shout out to him. He was incredible with letting us young actors in on the process. You know, days when we weren't working, he was like, if you want to come to set, if you want to see how you know how the how the cheese is made. You know, you can come to set. So days that I wasn't working, I would just show up and just watch people and just ask questions. Everything from in front and behind the camera. So that was such an incredible experience. And it really completely changed my life. You know, I had only been in L.A. for a year at that point. And I'm very aware that that story is very unusual. It doesn't happen like that for people at all. I was fully ready to be a, what do they say, a, a, a seven-year overnight success, something right. like that. <laughs> uh, I, was, I was planning for that, you know, living in my, my one-bedroom, like, you know, mattress on the floor in Venice, California. But like I said, I, you know, God had other plans. It's so crazy. I actually booked the role of 100 Games on Good Friday. Uh, 11 years ago now, 12 years ago now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a crazy, wow. crazy story. But, you know, I'm trying to, you know, condense it all just so we have enough time uh, to, to talk about what we've got to talk about. But it completely changed my life. I mean, it's wow. a snowball event. You know, you ladies know how it goes. You know, it's this is one of those industries where, you know, work begets work. So that kind of happened. And then it just kind of snowballed into a whole bunch of incredible things. What right. mm -hmm. well, Ah, yeah, never heard that one before. Never, <laughs> never heard that one before. Rest in peace, Belafonte. Usually okay. I'd be tight, but you know, he passed away this year. So I was like, you know what? If anybody wants to sing that song to me, thinking they're the first, I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna let it slide. Let it slide. just it felt it felt very, you know, very African, very, you know what I mean, Caribbean. True, very, true, very true, African American, true. very powerful. 
Yeah, now, speaking sure. of powerful films, you are also starring alongside Ben Affleck and yeah. Alice Breyer in the psychological thriller Hypnotic. Yeah. What can you tell us about that film and that character? Crazy. Uh, without a doubt, one of the most insane characters I've played in my career. No yeah. question. Uh, I got to give, you know, Robert Rodriguez the, you know, the the flowers that he deserves for being gracious enough to let me take on this part. Um, it's such an amazing film. It's just one of those incredible summertime blockbuster, mind bending, you know, science fiction stories, which, you know, I always loved, you know, I've always been a big fan of like very deep adult science fiction. And this is very much in the vein of that. And and Robert has been working on this movie for a long, 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 long time. I mean, he said he was writing this since he did like, you know, from dusk till dawn, you know, with mm. Tarantino and, and, and George Clooney back in the day. And it's taken this long to gestate, and, you know, he needed a, the right leading man, right leading woman, you know, uh, to come you audition and, for it. Or you, you, uh, they, there was an offer. No, I auditioned for this. I did. Um, it's so funny because I'd, I'd gone in for something else completely different. And I didn't even think they would give me this role. Like, this was actually the role that I liked just because, you know, being an actor of color, sometimes um, being a Black actor, sometimes you get offered somewhat stereotypical roles or somewhat safe roles. Mm -hmm. And so when I read it initially, I didn't even look at this part. I remember loving this part, but I just going, nah, they, they're probably going to get some it's like it's it's the role you save in a project for for the academy award winning actor to come in and like be very eccentric and be this you know wild card kind of a character kind of a thing it's the juicy role you save so i was thinking oh they're probably going to get you know i don't know some somebody really big to come in and just fill this little this this part and so when when i'd gone into audition for another part and we got a call i know robert was like this guy should come for for river i was like are you serious like are you kidding me <laughs> So I was I was over the moon, you know. So I remember it was really quick. I remember I got on a call with Robert. We read it a couple of times. This was like on a Friday. You know, he was like, okay, you're going to hear about from us pretty soon. Saturday morning, I get a call. They're like, you're going to fly to Austin, Texas today. Sunday, I did a fitting. And Monday morning at 5 a.m., I'm looking Ben Affleck at the eyeballs. <laughs> like, so it was wow. like that. It was quick. Uh, I love so, when it happens like that. Like, uh, I, do. don't I don't like to wait. When they don't Can I jump through a whole bunch of hoops? Like, it's about time they're giving us a turn. Like, yeah. wow. I, before I get to my question, I would just like to point out something that I just was sitting here laughing to myself. When we have a man with a sexy voice, look how well behaved the queen. <laughs> no one's talking over each other. We listening, like, intently and being behaved. I mean, anyways, I want to give you some love from the chat, okay? Because there's a lot of people that are saying some good things about you. Janelle Robbins, said, Janelle Robbins said, let's give this man his flowers. Uh, she also says, yes, Nigerian King. Um, huh. They're saying how awesome you are. You're doing your thing. I can't even with the mint smile. They're <laughs> really going in on you uh, in a positive way. And I just like to tell our guests when you're making an impact like that. So I just feel like you can throw it on, stand up or turn around or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm 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 dark skinned, but I'm blushing. Make, make uh -oh. no mistake. But we just, you know, dark skinned brothers. We just hide it better. Uh, we, we can blushing. I just ask a quick question? How old are you? I'm 34. I'll be 35. <laughs> I'll be 35 in what? 30 days? June 14. Yeah. Yes. I got a birthday coming up. Okay. He can rent a car, Gemini. man. You old enough? Absolutely. Yo. <laughs> 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 I want you to stand up and turn around, but okay. Uh -uh. <laughs> I mean, you don't know. I probably, maybe I don't have pants on. You know what I'm saying? Uh -uh. Zoom, you know? That's, I feel that. That's, that's why I say it. That's why I say it. You get real I spicy. I really real want quick. you to turn around and stand up. <laughs> <laughs> All the more reason. I see them guns. I see them guns popping out. You know what I'm saying? The shirt so, is creasing. The crease yeah. is creasing. <laughs> okay, this is about to be copy of the queens after dark up in here. Okay. Oh, word. Y'all these guys got, got spicy in here. Out of frame, oh, hot, you know, let's, <laughs> let's, not, let's not treat our accomplished African king actor as a piece of meat, but you can um, look at Lisa Wright. She's like, damn. <laughs> Anyways, let me get back to your career. Dio, how, how has it been, like, starring alongside, you know, Ben Affleck and Alice Braga? How was that? Amazing. It's so funny. Uh, Alice and I, we just wrapped the project a week ago, another project. So we did Hypnotic together, and then we went right into doing another show for Apple, um, for Apple TV Plus called Dark Matter with her and Joel Edgerton. So that's really excited about that. But we'll save that. That's not too next. Year. Probably should be talking about that. Publicist I'm probably losing sure. their mind right now. But, I mean, an amazing cast, you know. Ben, incredible, incredible filmmaker and actor. And 
you know, Elise, the whole cast, Will Finchner. Um, it was amazing. We filmed it in Austin, Texas, which was the first time I'd ever filmed in Austin. And if you've never, I mean, for those who are actors, never filmed there before, great city to film. Like, really great. Yeah. Very hospitable. Amazing. Robert Rodriguez, like, has his own studio down there. Mm-hmm. It's so funny. I always, I always joke with people. I'm like, yo, he's low-key like the Tyler Perry of, of Austin, Texas. He got his own <laughs> little situation down there. He makes his own it movies. Is. They leave him alone, you yeah. know. And um, But just the nicest guy, man. It's, it, it's funny because... You know, they always say never meet your heroes, you know, and because sometimes they'll turn you down or rather they'll let you down. Um, ah. But he was one of those people where you meet him and he's exactly what you hope for. You know, such a giving guy, so collaborative. You know, what I mean, I mean, some of these guys have been in the game 20, 30 plus decades and are at the highest you know, level of their game. And he welcomed me like I was truly one of them and, you know, a true collaborator. And that's rare in this business, especially for people like us. So, you know, I I. I'll go to the distance for that guy. You know, he's he's incredible. That. Incredible. Let me ask you, I ask you a question that's a little bit different than what our producers wanted me to ask. Anybody on your dream list to work with? Ooh, we. I mean, I've been very fortunate to work with a lot of people. You know, so I was just talking to a friend of mine the other day and and she was like, yo, sometimes you don't really look back on your career and realize you've worked with, you know, the Brie Larson's, the Jennifer Lawrence's. I was on a show with Jen- J-Lo, Jennifer. It's so funny, I just did this movie with Ben, but I actually worked with Jennifer before, with J-Lo. I was on a show called Shades of Blue. So yeah. we played partners. We played cop partners. I was her partner on the show. So I, I remember when I got this part, I actually like sent her a message. I was like, yo, I'm going to be working with Blue Thing. It's kind of funny, but um, so yeah, I worked with, you know, Ray Liotta on that show, rest in peace. You know, Ray passed yes. away, we lost him as well. And yeah, I've just been really, really, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, I was in the Terminator franchise with him as well. Just really incredible, incredible filmmakers. Courtney B. Vance, man, played my father. So I'm, for you me, I it. kind of just, I kind of just surrender. I'm, I'm the kind of person where I don't, I don't try to plan too much. I kind of like to stay a little bit fluid. You know, and I feel like if my heart's in the right place, you know, if I stay, you know, in, in, in line with God and what he wants for me, the right people will come to me. You know what I mean? But I'm, I'm truly a lover of film. You know, I want to work with everybody. I want to work with Denzel, obviously. I want to work with, you know, Will. I want to work with, you know, Jamie Foxx, who I know is going through a tough time right now. So, you know, yes, hearts out to Jamie, exactly. his, his current situation. There's just so many filmmakers I want to work with, you know. Um, you know, Daniel well, Day-Lewis, can he, can he please come out of retirement to work with me? You know? no, bro, I was actually doing a shameless plug for Vivica Fox. I was just, you know, I'm going to keep that. <laughs> Vivica Fox, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Yeah, um. no doubt. No doubt, man. You, you're, just, you're just awesome. You, you've lit up the show tonight. Cocktails with Queens. May God continue to bless you with Amen. more films, more, more of everything. I could even see you as a director in the future because Amen. your presence... Uh, is just so knowledgeable and your love for filmmaking just it just reeks through the camera it really does so we wish you nothing but the best and we thank you so much for joining us here on cocktails with queens absolutely thank you ladies so much this is amazing and yes people hypnotic comes out on friday yes okay may 12th in theaters i know you got to go back to the theaters. I feel oh, like we got to um, preserve the theater going experience. So please go cop a ticket, go see it. No doubt, it's an amazing. Y'all. Movie. As he said, we're going to be looking out, out this yeah. Friday, May 12th, in theaters.